now like this in the case of, of the cube we obtain something else now because cube has six faces but eight vertices so the graph has to be different yeah, but, but it's not so difficult to notice that this graph already appears here this graph is nothing else than 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 uh, this octahedron uh, so so we have the, the dual of, of cube is octahedron uh, so so this graph is is self dual and these these two graphs are dueling one on each other uh, something something like this And there are also two more, two more uh, regular solids. So I will I will draw them. So one of them is is dodecahedron, which has twelve faces. Each face is of, of size five. So, uh, so um, this here, the outer. Maybe maybe you remember it from from the last video. Dodecahedron is is like like five gone like this, and inside there are other other faces. It's actually uh, quite quite nice and regular. Maybe maybe sometime we can we can uh, look how how many symmetries this this graph has because it's quite quite huge the, the structure of, of symmetries. Yeah, so so this is this is uh, dodecahedron. Maybe maybe you know some some different different drawing. Yes, this is this is uh, the guy. And if we consider um, its dual, we will obtain another Platon solid, and which is called uh, which is called icosahedron. Meaning, it has twenty faces of size 3 that's yes, because like every vertex he here has degree 3 so sizes of faces in dual will be free yeah, it's it's always it always holds something something like this and uh, it will look mm, something like this yeah, it's it's also kind of very very regular Outer. Yeah, so so basically it looks like like uh, two two vertices like this and um, like uh, each there are five triangles going going from from each each of of them and so so to the the bottom now so something something like this of course you can again draw it much much better yeah so we have five five of these regular, regular objects and it's not so difficult to show that there are no other that every other planar graph has to have vertices of different degrees and or edges of different degrees it's not possible uh, or faces or vertices of different degrees so, so it's not possible to to make some some more regular structures like like this okay so and it's actually it's actually not very not very difficult so, so we already mm, said that mm, if if we if we have a planar graph it satisfies all our formula so number of vertices plus number of faces is number of edges plus two and now what what we also know that we can calculate twice the number of, of edges in, in two different ways we can calculate it as sum of degrees or as sum of sizes of, of the faces yeah so let me let me denote degree of each vertex will be will be denoted by p and size size of each um, or by by d maybe maybe that's better by d and size of of each phase will be denoted by by f 
So now what what we can do is to is to put here into this equation we, we can replace v and f now for for this because uh, we, if we have um, f faces then then what what we know is um, that um, the, uh, sorry sorry this is this is stupid this is stupid other um, I denoted s yeah so so we have vertices of degree d it's d rigor and we have uh, faces of, of size s so now if we have s faces of size s and this is 2e meaning that s is 2e over s and similarly if we have f v vertices of degree d and this is 2e so v is 2e over s so we can take these two quantities and put it into Euler's formula so what we obtain is 2 over e uh, sorry the, the d should be here uh, 2 over e 2 e over s plus 2 e over d is equal e plus 2 so what we can do is to is to divide the thing by 2 and now what what we can do is to mm, is to uh, put uh, put e out, uh, outside of the of the equation and what we what we obtain we can okay, okay, divide it by by also by by e And what we obtain is is one over s plus one over d is equal one half plus plus one over e. Yes. So number of edges is always positive. So we can forget about about this this part here. So in this way we make the right hand side smaller and so what we know is that this thing is at least one half and now what we just need is to, is to check which natural numbers which small natural numbers satisfy this equality yeah so the sizes of the faces can be can be um, can be uh, 3, 4, 5 and maybe maybe more but as, as we will see we will, we will end at 5 and um, degrees of, of the of the vertices um, are also also uh, slightly slightly limited so so let me let me see so so if we have faces of, of size s of size if if it's one third then then this this thing here has to has to be uh yeah because because we want we want to to make at least at least one half then we will have one half min minus one third and uh, this has to be this has to be at least this has to be at most one over one over d so we have one one half minus minus one one third so so we have um yes uh, so we have uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah this is um this is uh, three over six minus two over six which means one one over six yeah so one over d is Yeah, and uh, there there is strict equality also because uh, we we, we small uh, this is this is positive always so so one over d is at least one over six so d is at most at most six so d degrees can be three four or five nothing else so so in the in the case that s is free then and degrees of the of the vertices can be can be kind of limited so so let me let me take a look here and write it down so for cube we have 
degrees equal 3 and number of faces number of, of sizes sizes of, the, of these faces are 4 and the, in the dual graph we have degrees are 4 and size faces of are of size 3 in the tetrahedron we have degrees are 3 and faces are 3 yeah? in dodecahedron here here what we have are uh, degrees are 3 and faces are of size 5 and equals in icosahedron degrees are 5 and faces are sizes are free. So what we are considering if S is equal free, then degree is free, four or five. So this one corresponds to nothing else than tetrahedron. This one corresponds to dual of the uh, dual of the cube to, to octahedron and this one corresponds to, to Icosahedron. Yeah. So so uh, so we already were able to to identify three of them, and also we may know that uh, if if these two parameters are already determined, that there is only one possible platonic platonic structure. So platonic solid. So so it's not possible to have to have more than these three for for these values. And now. Using very similar similar calculations, if if this if s is equal one over four, then then we have that uh, this this thing here is is one over over four. So what we obtain is that one over d is at most one over four, meaning that d is more than four, which says d is equal three. Uh, so we are in the case for three. Yeah, so, so when S is 4, then degree is also 4, and we are in, in this... Um, no, no, degree, sorry, degree is 3. I, I wrote it before. So we are in this, in this uh, case of, of cube. So this is cube. And... Of course, the last thing is sizes of, of the faces are 5, so we have 1 half minus 1 one fifth, yeah, meaning, meaning 5 tenth minus, minus 2 over 10 is uh, 3 over 10. Yeah, so 3 over 10 is smaller than 1 over d, Meaning that uh, the 3 times d is smaller than 10, which says d is equal 3. So in this, in the, this is the last one missing. This is this, if s is equal 5, then d is equal 3, and we have dodecahedron. Yeah. So all of them were identified by these simple calculations. And um, yeah. So we know that that beauty beauty like this exists but it's it's very rare because there are only five five objects and they are somehow somehow connected to each other just by by simple simple duality so, so they are actually actually from the structural point of view there are only only maybe maybe three of them now, on the other hand they are kind of pretty yeah so so let me let me conclude today and we can we can consider we can continue next time and and maybe we are going to to show some some other interesting stuff there. So so thanks thanks for watching. And see you see you next time. And yeah, if if you like these videos, you can again give me some comments on on the channel. And for example, you can can give some suggestions. What what would you like to hear about? And or whether you consider. Uh, it too fast or too slow or not interesting at all or something like that. It, it would be nice that I would have some some feedback so, so I could I could make it more interesting. Yeah. So well, thanks guys. Uh, see you next time.